skeletal system consists of framework of bones and few cartilages. Skeletal system. See, this is flesh. This is flesh, 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 flesh. If this flesh is not there, bone is skeleton. In our living body, it was there, so we will call system, skeleton system. The skeleton system consists of framework of bones. Framework of bones. Framework of bones and few cartilages. Few cartilages. Few cartilages. See here, framework of bone. From here to here, one frame. I am moving. It is one frame, framework of bones. And few cartilages, like this, we can move. This is. Skeletal system consists of framework of bones and few cartilages. It is cartilage. It is cartilage. Cartilage. Vertebral column region, cartilage. Few cartilages. So the skeletal system has a significant effect to maintain the body posture, body posture, body posture, body posture and movement of body parts, movement of body parts, movement of body parts, body parts. See, our skeletal system has significant role in maintaining body posture. Now I was, my posture was in standing posture. Now I am bending, bending, bending. Like this way, like this way. So this entire depends upon our skeletal system. And also movement of our body parts. Now I am moving. Movement of body parts. Movement of body parts. Movement of body parts. All these movements, bending down, these are all activities. Depends upon skeletal system. In adult human beings, the skeletal, skeletal system made up of two or six bones. Two or six bones. In adult human beings, the skeletal system is made up of two or six bones. And few cartilages, few cartilages, cartilaginous tissues, cartilaginous tissues, cartilaginous tissues. So these do not six bones, some of the bones are movable bones, some are immovable. Therefore, August Wiesman, <laughs> Augustus Wiesman, the scientist August, Augustus Wiesman, Augustus, Augustus Wiesman. Augustus Wiesman considered our body is Moving museum of the body. He called our body moving museum of the body. Moving museum. So moving museum. My eyelids are moving. Eyelids, eyebrow is moving. Hello. When I will explain this is, I will show properly. Are you visible this is? That is enough. Okay, I'm not explaining about this. Okay, listen. Okay. So our body is moving museum. Like that we consider. Who is Augustus Wiesman, biological scientist? Augustus Wiesman. Augustus Wiesman, he considered human body as moving museum of the body. Moving museum of the body. See, moving, moving, moving. Moving museum of the body, moving museum of the body. In all directions we can move. So because of two or six bones. In other human beings, in other human beings, the skeletal system is made up of two or six bones. Mainly the skeletal system is divided into two parts: the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton. Axial skeleton and the Appendicular skeleton. Our skeleton mainly divided into two parts: the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton 
this is this is this is this is axial skeleton appendicular skeleton this region back below the abdominal cavity below the abdominal cavity front uh, back uh, left uh, right to uh, down the center is called appendicular skeleton our skeleton mainly divided into two parts axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton first of all let us see
those are now come and have a look on these cranial bones cranial bones are eight first one is cranial bones are eight eight bones first one is frontal bone this is called frontal bone one frontal bone frontal bone one see frontal bone this is called see this region is called frontal bone frontal bone in textbook clearly it will be visible with color pictures have you okay so it is frontal bone the frontal bone one frontal bone is one frontal bone is one it is located on floor of the cranium see floor of the cranium like this the floor on the floor what are there frontal bone floor of the cranium and roof of the orbit so this is orbit above the above the frontal bone is there that's why frontal bone it is located floor of the cranium and forms forehead forms forehead and roof of the orbit these are called orbit orbit one orbit two. roof roof of the orbit that is called frontal bone next one is temporal bone not parietal bone parietal bone parietal bone see this is called parietal bone so a pair of parietal bones are located on either sides of the skull one two this is called parietal bones parietal bones are two a pair of parietal bones are located on either sides of the skull which is attached to the frontal bone parietal bone anteriorly attached to the frontal bone by coronal sutures parietal bone two it is anterior it is posterior this is posterior okay so parietal this is parietal this parietal bone anterior this is anterior anteriorly attached to the frontal bone by coronal suture coronal suture suture means articulate surfaces articulate attaching surfaces this bone frontal bone both are attached It is attached to this. Both are attached with each other by coronal sutures. Coronal suture. Coronal suture. Anterior. So frontal bone posteriorly attached to the occipital bone. This is occipital bone. So to this frontal bone. Sorry, parietal bone posteriorly attached to the occipital bone by lambdoid suture. Three. 
have to discuss. Temporal bones. These are attached near to the ear. Near to the ear. And other sides of the skull. That is called temporal bone. Temporal bone. Temporal two. Next, occipital bone one. This is this is this is posteriorly at the base of the cranium. Posteriorly and at the base of the cranium, there is one bone that is called occipital bone. Occipital bone. This occipital bone. This is called occipital bone. This occipital bone has small hole, small hole, hole, small hole. This region here, one small here not except here one small hole. To this here one small hole is present. This hole is called. Foramen magnum. Foramen magnum. Occipital bone. Occipital bone. Occipital bone. Posteriorly at the base of the cranium, there is a bone that is called occipital bone is one. This occipital bone contains one bone that is called foramen magnum, through which medulla oblongata passes and connected to the Spinal cord through which middle oblongata passes, through which middle oblongata passes and connected to the spinal cord through vertebral column, through vertebral vertebral column, vertebral. I will say that the foramen magnum. Spinoid bone. This is called 
called the spinite bone. It is attached to the frontal bone, attached to the parietal bone, attached to the temporal bone. That's why it is called keystone bone. Spinite bone. Spinite bone. Spinite bone. The spinite bone is also called keystone bone because it articulates. Articulate means attaches to frontal bone, parietal bone, temporal bone, all the bones. Therefore, it is called spinite bone. Spinite bone. It is called keystone bone. Keystone bone. Okay? Spinite bone. Next, ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone. Here, is it visible? Ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone. Okay. Not the visible. Ethmoid bone. Fourth one is spinite. And fifth one is ethmoid. Ethmoid bone is one. Now count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bones are called cranial bones. Eight bones are called cranial bones. Ethmoid bone. This is called ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone. So the ethmoid bone, ethmoid bone, bone is present inside of the orbit. This is called orbit. In the orbit, I and its associated structures are accommodated. Ethmoid bone. Inside the orbit, this is called orbit one, orbit two. In the orbit one, I. In the orbit two. Another eye and its associated structures are accommodated. Inside of the orbit, there is a bone that is called ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone. This ethmoid bone is connected to nasal cavity. This is nasal cavity. And forehead. These are all called cranial bones. Cranial bones. Eight cranial Okay, cranial bones are 8. Facial bones are 14. All together cranial bones are 22 bones. Now we see about facial bones. Okay, facial bones, facial bones uh, which are made up of by different types of the bones, different type, different uh, 14, different uh, 14 bones. These 14 different types of bones together forms front facial lesion. Those are Facial, 14 different bones. Facial, 14 different bones. Together, forms front portion of the skull. Those are, first one is nasal bone. Nasal bone. Nasal bone. Two. Maxilla. Two. Jagomatic bone, two. Lacrimal, lacrimal bone, two. Palatine bone, two.
नॉजल बाल चेक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स रोज़ एट ट्वेल्थ सेवेन वोमर एट मैंडिबल Nasal cavity. So, if this cartilage is not there, means at the floor, 
A triangular bone you will see. A triangular bone that is called Oma. It is one thing. Mandible. It is U-shaped. Mandible. Lower. It is U-shaped, longest, strongest of all facial bones. It has a number of sockets to get accommodate lower two and forms a lower chunk. Lower chunk. It is attached to the skull region. Attached to the skull region. So here, near to the ear and helps to grind. Okay. That is called mandible. It is called. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, two, yeah? Twelve, that is fourteen. Fourteen facial bones, eight cranial bones. All skull bones are called twenty-two. Twenty-two skull bones. Okay, this is the explanation about the skull.